Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about turning off the iPhone. Should you turn off your iPhone? And if yes, how often, when, and for how long should you do it? Everything you need to know about your device when it comes to powering it off. The benefits and the negatives, of course, when it comes to powering off your device. There are some real myths when it comes to turning off the iPhone. A lot of people believe that they should turn it off every night when they sleep, but we have some really great facts to better understand how the iPhone works and of course, when and how to turn off your iPhone. Now, before we get into all that, another really great fact is that the like button on this video helps out a lot. That really helps this video to reach more people and help this channel do much, much better. So I would really appreciate if you could just smash that like button. All right, so when it comes to powering off your device, it's pretty simple. You can do that in a few simple steps. Just go to settings, general, and right here we'll have shutdown. It takes you to the power off menu, slide right there, and you're good to go. Or what you can do, volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button right there. Again, you go to this menu and you can power off from here. But which are the benefits of turning off your iPhone? And should you turn it off? First of all, we're talking about night. So a lot of people have this practice where they will turn off the iPhone completely at nighttime when they want to sleep. Now, the positives are that, that it will actually remove the radiation that comes from the iPhone, a lot of people will actually turn on airplane mode, but that doesn't work as good as turning off your iPhone completely, of course, when it comes to removing radiation. Now, if you're concerned about that, yes, then you can turn off your iPhone. Otherwise, there are no other benefits to turning off your iPhone at night. There are only probably negatives because you might actually just like miss really important urgent calls that you might get that's of course really really important and you will also get updates at night on your iphone which is actually the best practice when it comes to updating your iphone so let's say you have your iphone updates on automatic so right here on general you go to software update you have automatic updates on you leave your iphone on during night time it's charging your iphone will update automatically without you having to bother and just waste your time through the day to update your iPhone. That's another negative. If you turn off your iPhone at night, your iPhone won't actually be able to be updated automatically. And this right here is really interesting. If you're on iOS 15, then you're good to go. But most people actually are not updated to iOS 15. And if you actually turn off your iPhone, then if you lose it, you won't actually be able to find your iPhone. That's the, probably the most negative side when it comes to turning off your iPhone. A lot of people might do it to actually maybe save battery or stuff like that, but that actually doesn't really help. If you're not using your iPhone, you just actually just turn off the screen here, lock your device, then it's not actually using a lot of battery and your battery will be good. Even if your iPhone is just extremely low on battery, just not using your iPhone, just keeping it locked like this will save a ton of battery. No need to power it up because if you forget it somewhere or you lose it, you won't be able to find it. Now, if you're on iOS 15, then you're good to go because it has this feature right here. So you can see it says iPhone findable even after power off. If you're on iOS 15, then you're good to go. As long as you have location services turned on on your device, your iPhone will be findable even though it might be turned off. So that's just an amazing feature that a lot of people should consider before they decide to stay on iOS 14 and not update their device to iOS 15. Now there are of course like cases when you should actually turn off your iPhone or better say reboot your iPhone. I prefer rebooting like do a hard reboot on your iPhone rather than turning off your iPhone and then turning it on back again. So to do a hard reboot, volume up, volume down, press and hold right here until you see the Apple logo, the screen will go black and you will get the Apple logo again and just wait for your iPhone to power back on. That's the best way to reboot your iPhone rather than just turning it off and turning it on back again. Now the case is when you should do that, of course, if you have like apps crashes, if like an app crashes a lot, you should actually do that. If you have glitches or stuff like that, or your iPhone just froze maybe on an app or on the home screen, then do this. It will actually refresh the memory of your iPhone and will make your iPhone even run smoother and faster, especially if you have an older device. 
Another thing rebooting your iPhone does is that it will help with the storage of your iPhone. So iPhones of course have system files, they have caches and stuff like that. And you will actually see that if you go right here under the iPhone storage and scroll all the way down, you will see there the system files and then you have others. Those others are like the stuff that iPhone needs and will basically be stuff like apps, caches and stuff like that. But it actually takes quite a large part on the storage of your iPhone. That can be even more than 10 gigs. And if you have an iPhone that basically has lower capacity, that will take a lot of storage on your iPhone. So let's just scroll down right away. And you can see right here we have iOS, then we have system data right here. These are other system data and right now is at 9.5. 49%. And if you reboot your iPhone, I'm pretty sure that this will be lower. So it will actually remove quite a lot of stuff there and it will probably gain like a gig or two in this part. So let's just reboot this device and test it out. And there we go. We just rebooted the device. It's back up and you can see right here, system data, other system data. We have 8.5. So it was 9 for nine basically we have a gig more free storage on our iphone simply by rebooting the device that's one of the biggest benefits that you will get from rebooting your iphone otherwise if you're trying to like save battery by turning off your iphone that probably won't work that much if you do that during the night you will may may maybe lose like any like notifications, maybe lose a call or something like that, lose an update. It's not, of course, worth it. You will probably save one or 2% more than just leaving it asleep, of course, with the screen locked. Another case when you should actually turn off your iPhone is if you want to store it for longer periods. So let's say you have a phone that you don't want to use maybe for a week or two, a month or even more. Make sure you always turn it off be before you leave it somewhere to store. Now, according to Apple, you should charge your iPhone at 50% and then turn it off and store it. That's the best practice, of course, and that's what's recommended from Apple when it comes to storing your devices for a longer time. So that's about it, guys. If you want to store your iPhone, turn it off. If you have any glitches, or you want to refresh the memory and the cache just like you saw right there we gained one gig make sure you do reboot your iphone do that by doing the hard reset if you're worried about radiation turn it off completely at night of course if you have it close to you and then of course if you're on ios 14 never turn it off because you might not be able to find it if you lose it if you're on ios 15 you will be able to find it even if you lose it so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are some facts when it comes to powering up your device the best practices and of course what you should and what you shouldn't do so that's about it thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next video